everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to some brand new gameplay here on the channel. This is a game called Snack World. It just released on the Nintendo Switch on Valentine's Day, so I'm streaming it live on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube, please bear that in mind. So there will be alerts, on screen pop ups, and stuff like that. So I'm going to be checking out this game. I don't know if this is going to be a series on YouTube or if it's just going to be a one-off long play video so you guys can see some gameplay. But this is by Level 5, which did the amazing game Fantasy Life. It's still one of my all-time favourite uh, Nintendo 3DS games. Love it to death. I've got a massive playlist covering that game, so check it out down below on YouTube in the video description. But uh, yeah, very similar. I've seen some gameplay videos of this. It has kind of like a similar look to it, feel to it, icon design, stuff like that. You can really tell that it's kind of like a love letter to fantasy life, I guess. I don't know if it's by the same uh, developers, like people-wise, but I know it is by level 5, so it makes sense. But anyway, I'm excited. I don't know what class I'm going to go. We're going to check it out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I will be streaming this on Twitch for a while, um, so we may be doing some multiplayer sessions. So if anyone does want to join in, you need to come over to my Twitch account. There's a link down below in the video description on YouTube, guys. Make sure you follow, make sure you tune in, make sure you have a good play session with me. Anyway, let's start a new game. Let's go. Hey, welcome to the stream. Shadownator, hello. Thank you for the compliment and thank you for wishing me well on the stream. Okay, so there's two save files. That's pretty handy. Let's go with diary one. Welcome, welcome to Snack World. Before you take your first bite of dungeon crawling pie, hmm, pie. <laughs> favorite pies, guys, go. <laughs> Apple pie is my favorite pie. You need to create a character to control in this mouth watering world. Okay, so I'm going to go with female. Let's have a look. Build, I am quite skinny. I think I'm just going to go with the default one there. So there's a little bit of character customization. We'll check it out together. Do I want rosy cheeks? Not so sure. Okay, should we just go through all these options and check it out? <laughs> That's quite cute, to be fair. Hmm, um, I quite like that one actually. Oh my god, potato face! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh. Cheesecake says Kayla! Cheesecake is nice, I like strawberry cheesecake myself actually. Oh, so we've got skin colour as well there, which is pretty nice. Really, really awesome catering to lots of different people there. I'm a pale ass bitch, so let's go with pale. Eyes, let's have a look. Uh, eye colour, I want to be blue, which is my eye colour there. We've got lots of different eye colours here. Do we not have... Oh, we can go funky eye colour. There's a palette, guys. You can have pink, purple, blue, brown, grey, all sorts of cool colours. That's awesome. Do I want to go anime and have, like, unique eye colour? I think I want to go purple, you know. Now that I can see that I can have a different eye shade. Okay, so that is, like, the default. But let's go through them all and check it out. That's cute. Okay, that's, that's a real tempter, in all honesty. That's adorable. But nice. Stare into my cold, dead eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute as well okay there's quite a few different eye types that I really like that's probably the closest to my eyes because obviously I wear the eyeliner for the cat eyes so that's pretty similar okay I think I am going to go with that now we've got hair type so let's have a look you can rotate the character there to look at the back my hair is pretty long now. Oh, that is adorable. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
The hairstyles are so cute! I like that one. That's probably the closest to my hairstyle right now, from all these choices. Okay. It's quite boring though, isn't it? I mean, I'll select it. Let's have a look at red. Oh god! Oh! Black Metal Fang, thank you! It scared the crap out of me! <laughs> thank you so much, Fang! Love, love, love! Everybody show Fang some love, please! That's greatly appreciated, supporting the stream right there. Thank you so much, Trooper! Welcome to the stream! This game is so much fun! I've only just started, so we're checking it out. Um, Ultimate, welcome to the stream. Love your hair colour, it really suits you. Thank you. This is a wig though, don't forget, guys. I have like 35 wigs, but my normal hair is dyed red as well. Alright, we're going to have red hair in the game. Okay, voice. Okay, here, voice. Hang on a second. <laughs> that sounds good, actually. Sorry. I feel like I don't have a very feminine voice, so I'm going to try and pick one that's similar. That's, right. that's quite cool, number four. Coming your way. Yeah. Mm, five is good as well. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with five, guys. Answer your name. The name you answer here will be viewable by other players in multiplayer. Right, okay. Let's see if it will accept GGK, because sometimes these games do not. No, not L. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Okay, that is done. That's me. Let's do it, guys. My character is quite cute. I've chosen an... I've just noticed Egghead. <laughs> I've chosen an Egghead for my character. Well, I am a good egg, so it makes sense, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, I sound like such a bitch. <laughs> this product is a work of fiction. Any similarity to real persons, places, organisations, etc. is entirely coincidental. I feel like this is setting us up to have a lot of references to uh, things in the real world now. <laughs> hey Omega, welcome to the stream. Okay, I'm supposed to press A. Okay, I thought it was loading. Okay, makes use of the Nintendo Switch console's internal clock. Changing the console's time could result in parts of the game not functioning correctly. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, Miniature King! Just like in Fantasy Life. Oh, is it fully voiced? Oh my god, I love it when games are fully voiced. It makes it so much more immersive. Oh, I'm hyped now! I'm hyped! I hope it's fully voiced. Okay, right, no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> Corrected instantly. What's the matter, man? An adventurous sire. We found her collapsed just outside the castle walls. Damn it. Have I been attacked or something then? Oh, really? Hmm, well, well. I mean, I'm not being funny. Is that his wife? Because damn, he's done good for himself. Doesn't he, guys? <laughs> Your Majesty. Or is that his daughter, maybe? I don't know. The wolf, welcome to the stream. How are you today? I'm pretty good. How are you today? Could it be a reincarnation of the legendary hero come to save the world from disaster, your majesty? In any other RPG, almost certainly. <laughs> Fourth wall break! But we have no such legend in this kingdom, my good man, royal. 
palatale groans. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that the world isn't facing disaster as far as I'm aware. Little did you know, there is a disaster incoming. <laughs> and it's me, I'm the disaster. I am the danger. <laughs> An excellent point, your majesty. Anyway, we know nothing about this person, do we? She could be riddled with disease. Oh my god! Excuse me? <laughs> I have you know, I'm not diseased. Leave well alone, I say. I knew I should have built a wall along our borders. Oh my god, the king is Trump. King Trump confirmed. But daddy! Right, thank god! Thank God that's not his wife! <laughs> we almost never have visitors from outside the kingdom. And she's an adventurer. It sounds so exciting. Please, I have to meet her. It's in your hands. There you have it then. Major Mango. Major Mango. <laughs> the princess has spoken. She wants to meet this adventurer. Oh my God. So first things first, see that she receives any medical attention she needs. I think we'll put her up to... Uh, up at the... What? Up at the muffin! Oh, muffin! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I thought of muff as something else <laughs> before I got the joke. Anyway, until she's recovered, she'll be in the muff inn. <laughs> Thank you, daddy. You'll take care of everything for me, won't you, Major? Leave it to your main mango, ma'am. Main mango, ma'am. Try saying that three times fast. Main mango, ma'am. Main mango, ma'am. Main mango, ma'am. I'm saying mango, ma'am now. Not mango, ma'am. <laughs> I'll see to it right away. This opening makes me so hyped. I know, right? Chapter 1. Snack World. The Adventure Bites. I like that. I like my adventures to bite. <laughs> okay, so this is the Moth Inn. Where we've been staying. Delightful! Oh dear. That's not good. Look how thin my legs are, man. <laughs> I need some meat on those pegs. <laughs> Cinderella. Aww, she made to mop the floors. Or something. Is that why her name's Cinderella? Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> you could just come into the room. She might be diseased. That's why. So they've got this really long stick. <laughs> How is that staying upright? Wouldn't it just fall down? Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so we get multiple choice here. I'm assuming this affects the dialogue. What are you laughing at? Have you been looking after me? I'm gonna ask what she's laughing at. Why you laugh at me? Stop being mean. <laughs> um. um yes. Come. Do I want to follow somebody that's just used a really long stick of a hand on it? <laughs> Have you got something for me? <laughs> you want me to follow you. Let's go. There's nothing suspicious going on or slightly dangerous whatsoever, guys. It's all good. Oh, so we do have uh, free control of the camera, which is nice. Is there anything I can steal? That's the first thing you want to do in these types of games. Look for shit to steal. <laughs> right, hello. Yes. Downstairs. Downstairs, okay. Oh my god, that's a beast of a woman! Hello there. I bet you she's got a badass name like Gertrude or something or... Helga! <laughs> Please be called Helga. <laughs> Nervo, thank you for the follow. Oh. Jennifer, damn it! <laughs> That's too normal. Oh, you're up and about, are you? Feeling okay now? I'm still feeling kind of giddy. 
I, d I wouldn't describe myself as feeling giddy. That didn't look giddy. <laughs> New games here. Yep, that is right. Sweets, first time playing it. Only just started it. <laughs> I'm fine. Well, that's a relief. Now, don't fret. I've got all your belongings safe and sound right here. There you go. Pixie pod. Okay. It's a door. Oh, it's got a face on it. I've only just seen that. It's quite cute, actually. <laughs> Wally. It reminds me of Wally. Any robot with a face reminds me of Wally. I can't help it. Jara holder. Okay. You just leave this to me. Oh yes, you had permits for those as well, didn't you? Pixie pod permit. You are now permitted to use various ops on the Pixie pod menu. Various, various apps, not ops. <laughs> we can use phones now. We've got a permit to use a phone. Jara holder permit. You are now permitted to assign up to six jaras in the belongings menu. Well, really. Oh, you've forgotten what permits are. Well, that gives me a wonderful excuse for a mini tutorial, doesn't it? Oh, well, fourth wall break again. Permits are little cards that show you're allowed to do certain things. Now it's a good job your pixie pod didn't get busted, huh? All adventurers worth their salt need a pixie pod to save their progress and check recent news and the like. And don't forget to consult the diary app on your pixie pod later, will you? After all, regular saving in RP is RPG 101. Did I just say that? Gosh, I mean adventuring 101, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Bang Pixie Pod is an equally adorable name for how adorable it looks. That is true. It is a cutie pie. And remember, it's up to six weapon jars on your holder at any one time, no more. I think I have a few jars around here somewhere that could be useful to an adventurer like you until you get shot in the knee. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Yes, here we are. You received the adventurous set. Now make sure you set everything up in the belongings menu before you go getting yourself into any more trouble, hmm? Got anything else for me? Give me free shit. Give me free shit. Dear me. All taken no give, are we? Adventurers are supposed to do their own dirty work, you know. If you want more, you'll have to find it yourself. God damn it. You're not going to give me the most badass legendary weapon in the game then, Jennifer. <laughs> What use are you to me, Jennifer? <laughs> so anyway, the king's asked you to go visit him in the castle once you wake up. You can find your way there easily enough if you just go straight on from the plaza in the centre of town. Oh! Oh, the plaza! New help topics have been added. Equipment, fashion trends, pixie portal. Head to Tutti Fruity Castle. Well, I'm very much looking forward to seeing this fruit delicious castle. What's this at the top? Hang on a second. Right, so the pixie thing is Y. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at my profile. So this is me. Oh, well, we've got some uh, stats there. We've got luck, beauty, fortitude, intelligence, ingenuity, sensitivity, and charm. Ah, right, okay. I wonder what beauty does. I wonder if that affects how people treat you in the game or something. Character traits. Oh, here we go. Right, beauty is so much more than the looks you are born with. Your character and conduct all contribute as well. A diamond in the rough is still a diamond after all. No way, I just watched Aladdin. Live action movie. <laughs> diamond in the rough. <laughs> Fortitude is a measure of your metal, of your endurance. In other words, how strong you are as a person. To have an iron will that refuses to bend, that is the path to true happiness. Intelligence doesn't just give you a scholarly advantage, it's a weapon giving you the ability to access situations quickly and accurately. Such a skill will open many doors for you. Ingenuity. By improving your ingenuity, you will gain the skills required to invent and create new things. Ingenuity is also a measure of your individuality. Ooh. Jay! Hey, you won't be able to stay long. Just thought I'd stop by and say hi. Thank you so much, Jay! Love you! <laughs> Sensitivity! is a virtue that we all aspire to possess. A kind, considerate and understanding nature is, the, is in the making of a model person. 
Charm? Some say that being loved or adored is a skill, like any other skill we call charm. After all, a simple smile can help make many friends. That is true. Luck is a skill, not a gift. Those who ally themselves with the heavens don't know the meaning of the word failure. <laughs> I like that. I like it a lot. Right, okay, so accolades. Let's have a look at this. This is all uh, hidden at the moment. I guess we'll learn about that a little bit later. We've got our permits that were handed over by Jennifer, so we don't need to look at those. So let's have a look at the Pixie Diary. The use of save data, manipulation tools, blah blah blah. Right, save your progress. Yeah, we should definitely save. There we go. That's quick to save. That's nice. Pixiepedia. Okay, in here we've got characters. So there's 43 characters. There's quite a lot of characters in the game. That's cool. Jara's 228. Gear 301, Monsters 206. So quite a, an array of monsters there. I don't know if they're going to add to that over time. Pixie Cyst. Uh, okay, I don't know what this is. It might be AI companions that can come out of you on quests and stuff. Maybe we'll check that out a little bit later. Pixie Portal. Enter a code, check for deliveries. Uh, this will be like DLC and shit and stuff for uh, downloadable items and whatnot and then we've got configure here there we go that's fine okay so let's go to our bag which is x inventory all right here we go okay so i don't have access to a bow at the moment guys it looks like so uh we've got a sword just a regular sword with 90 strength. We've got an axe, which is 90 as well. Tells us what it's good against, which is cool. Got a shield, gives protection against uh, becoming gassy when blocked. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, we've got a recovery item here, 50%. And we've got this. Causes all stats to improve, so like a buff thingy my bobby okay we've got a outfit for defense and then we've got our main shit so that is pretty much it jar a holder okay here we go so everything is equipped right now isn't it yeah on 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 so they are all equipped gear yeah we don't have anything else at the moment. Style gear. Right, okay. And then there's like a star level, I guess. Interesting. Oh, and you can save sets as well. That's pretty cool. Accolades sound a lot like achievements, says Faye. Yeah, I, I guess so, to be honest. Right, so let's make our way to the castle, guys. Has the sound gone up of the game, or is it the same? Sounds like it's louder to me, but I don't know. Oh no, you don't come back here! Uh-oh. Someone's up to no good. Mischief afoot! Oh my god, you look like a villain if I ever did see one. Oh, get off my case! What? You can't get away! Don't make me Game over, me. thief! <laughs> look at the way they're running! Woo! He can really move! Come back here, you scoundrel! That's kind of funny coming from like... What is that? What is Gobson? Is he like a troll? <laughs> He's so chunky! <laughs> I love him already! <laughs> He's my adopted son! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the way he runs as well! A new help topic has been added to the town map. Right, okay, so we've got Tamra. Oh, perfect! Okay, my, my event list is not blocking it, that's awesome. Even the map is so similar to Fantasy Life, it's unreal. What's this? What's this? What's this? Kind of want to look around town before we go to the castle. 
Right, so this looks like uh, we can get weapons and whatnot from here. We've probably got no money, actually. Yeah. Can we even talk to anyone at the moment or not? Hmm, I'm not sure. A bow and arrow is definitely handy for attacking at a distance, but it's hard to go past a sword. I kind of want to try bow and arrow in this game, not going to lie. Ah, that dumb robot. He's so rude to me just because I'm an F-rank customer. F-rank? I'll give him Frank if that's what he wants to call me. <laughs> oh my god. Right, do I talk to you? I hate to turn away a potential customer, but I'm kind of tied up here fixing this piece of junk. Come back later, okay? I'm not going to be long. Is that a spacesuit? That looks like a spacesuit, or it's a robot. It's one of the two. I think it's a robot, actually. I don't know why it's got a big nose like a snowman. But there we go. <laughs> right. What is this? Cram this down before a quest and give your magic a boost. Oh, uh, right, okay, we've got ten dollars, I guess? I don't know what the money is called in this game, but we've got ten gold. I think I'll just call it gold. Hello and welcome, and I don't think I've seen you in here before, have I? Tell me, have you ever tasted a... Cracklin cookie? A what? A what now? A what? Have you ever had a crack cookie? <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> it's one of Tutti Fruity's specialities, you know. Simply delicious. I'll take your word for it. I, I don't think I should be having a crack cookie before I go out on a quest. Just saying. It doesn't sound safe. Oh, what is going on with this owl? Why is this owl so shocked at its own eggs? <laughs> What's wrong with this owl? <laughs> Why is it like that? Who are you? <laughs> oh my god, that's the most disturbing owl I ever did see. My lord. <laughs> okay, let's go and talk to the rest of the people before we go to the castle, guys. I'm enjoying this a lot so far, I've got to say. Oh, hi. It's so hot again today, isn't it? I wish someone else could tend to the store. Do not ask me to look after your shop. I will run it into the ground, so... Oh my god, it's a cat! But is it, though? Is that really a cat? What happened to you? <laughs> Why have you been squished? <laughs> you look like you've been stood on or something. I don't know. I feel sorry for this cat's entire existence. Meow. It's okay, kitty. <laughs> I will de-flatten you somehow. <laughs> oh, I love this game already. I love it so much. Hero Mart. Let's talk to these children first of all. I really, really want that final draw prize. That mirror shield has to be mine. But I've already used up all the pick a prize coupons Dad gave me. Well, you're going to have to nag Daddy for more, aren't you? Daddy, give me some more coupons. Can you pet the cat? I don't think so, Faye. When I interacted with it, it didn't give me the option, so that kind of sucks. I'm, I'm vibing off the music in this shop, though. Can we just can we just take this music in for a second? <laughs> oh, sorry, we're not quite open yet. Won't be long now. If you wouldn't mind coming back a little later, if you say so. There's lots of cool shit in here that I want to buy. I will keep my money for now. Okay, and um, that is the hotel, isn't it, that we came from? There's a little uh, gathering going on here. What's going on here? Are you going to Tom Nook's Island? Is that is that where you're going? You will be in debt, just so you know. You will be in debt, but you will meet lots of lovely animal people that you can uh, exchange furniture with and possibly waifus and husbandos, but uh, you will be in debt, just so you're aware. I'm super rafter number one. I'm the captain. Whatever you say, kid. Super rafter captain is my brother, you know. Pretty cool, huh? I'm super rafter two. 
One day we're going to set sail on this raft and go on an adventure. Every game needs petable cats. That is 100% the truth and facts and I, I stand by that comment. Oh, that's cool that we can- that's a nice little uh, touch that we can go up here. Sometimes when you get shit like this, it kind of just like blocks you and you can't go up, you know? Not like there's anything up there, but I like little touches like that. Is that a penguin? Oh no, it's just a really old bearded man. It looked like a penguin from behind. Oh, there's another one! It's not a penguin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why would there just be a penguin standing around? I've got Animal Crossing on the brain, obviously. Not seen your face around here before, youngun. Business at the castle, is it? You just pop under the clock tower there and follow your nose to get to the castle. Roger, roger. Welcome! Fresh greens picked only this morning. Everything you see in front of you was grown right here in Tutti Frutti. Looks rather flat, my friend. <laughs> like the cat's face. Only a gravy and apple. They're juicy and sweet. I like myself some thick gravy. Hmm, perhaps I'll buy something sweet to take home for dessert tonight. I like that. I can't go out to a restaurant and not have a sweet. I've got a major sweet tooth, so I understand that completely. Come, child! Come, child! Look, the, look at this old CRT TV set. It's a mere eight gravies. Do we... What? Hang on. Do we pay in gravy? Do we buy things in gravy? I'm, hang on, I'm confused. Come and see the bargains I have on offer at the moment. Look at this old CRTV set. It's a mere eight gravies. We pay in gravies, guys. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Afternoon, Scottish. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, I'm in love with this game already. Right, I want to speak to this guy that I thought was a penguin originally. And it's actually a man. Ah, there's something about looking over the town from here that really brings it home to you. It's all thanks to King Papaya and Princess Melanie and their positive attitude. Wolves might have to go earlier than expected. No worries, catch up on the VOD when you like. See you later and thank you for tuning in. The question is how thick is the gravy? If it ain't thick enough to lay bricks with it, I ain't interested. <laughs> That's why Tutti Frutti thrives the way it does and why we can all enjoy living in peace. My gravy has to be super thick, that's the way I like it. I like it thick! <laughs> huh? I told the gang to meet here. Maybe they're all gone to the secret base already. Show me where it is, I want to see your secret base. Oh hello, what's this shop? I was hoping to buy some clothes here, but, 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 but this store is it's too, 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 too classy for the likes of me. I can't go in. Can I go in? Am I allowed in? Have I interrupted something between you two? Because it looks like you're about to kiss. Should I leave? I can't look away though. Love is in the air. <laughs> I'm always in castle regulation armour when I'm on duty, of course. So I never really know what sort of outfit to wear on my rare days off. Hmm. Let's have a look. Romano, Romano. Juliania. No, that's wrong. Julienne. Julienne? I said Juliania. What the fuck? <laughs> Juliania! What's the other one called? Romeo? Romano? Ha! <laughs> Julian and Romano! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's awesome! I'm sorry but we're having some alone time at the moment. Why are you running a shop then? Do come visit us again later though. What does she say? Romano, Romano. Oh do forgive us but this is our special time just for the two of us. <laughs> 
Julianne and Romano. Romano, Romo, Romano, wherever out there, Romano. Kayla, GGK, how was Valentine's Day for you and Chris? It was great. We had a good time. We uh, had we had a takeaway, had some pizza, and just uh, rented a movie and just chilled. We don't do anything extravagant on Valentine's Day. Of course, he got me a gift and wrote me a lovely letter, which made me cry. <laughs> And I got him uh, a gift and obviously got him a special card as well, so it was nice, it was nice. I hope everybody had a good Valentine's Day. Sitting in the sun and reading a good book, ah, is there any greater happiness in life? What sort of books do you like? Fantasy. I haven't read a book in forever, you know. I can't remember the last time I sat down and properly read a book. I'm not really reading at all, I'm just pretending to while I check out that girl over there. If you're here as well, she might notice. Go away. She has- she must have eyes only for me! Please leave, you're too sexy. <laughs> Word of advice, when you sit down on a chair, be careful not to go down at full force. Otherwise it could tip over backwards and take you with it. How hard are you sitting down?! I speak from a bitter experience. Oh, it still hurts. I'm just glad I fell onto something soft. Is this why you're hiding? Oh no, maybe he for Oh, he was sat and sitting down on this bench and then it fell backwards and he fell over the wall and landed down there. Now he's just like standing there in shame. <laughs> oh my god, dude. How are you sitting down so hard that that actually happened? You need to calm yourself. Before you harm yourself. Oh wait, you already did that. <laughs> right, okay. Should we go to the castle now? Was there a little bit to the right we didn't explore though? There's a wonderful view of the castle from here, you know. Princess Melanie wears such mind-blowing outfits every day, doesn't she? Ha, I wish I was a princess. We're all princesses, everyone! cafe here. Whoa, this is a hip and happening place. You fill me up with so much love. Oh god, I'm glad I finished that sentence. You fill me up! You fill me up! <laughs> I don't ever feel hungry anymore. Being with you makes everything so much more vivid. Food tastes so much better. Nom 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 nom. Mr. DC, this game is very charming looking, isn't it though? Isn't it though? You should check out Fantasy Life on the 3DS if you haven't done so already. Hi, welcome to Coffee Cafe. Coffee Cafe? Is that how that's said? Probably butchered it, let's be real. Coffee Cafe is a great place to meet new people you know. You can make lifelong friendships here. Friendships that really stand the test of time, you know. So give every encounter a chance. That's my advice. You might have just met someone special. Well, hi there. Sit yourself down and have a drink. What can I get for you? Can I actually get something, though? I don't think I can. I want a drink! Give me a stiff alcoholic beverage. I'm about to meet the king. <laughs> Again, a sentence I'm glad I finished. Give me a stiff. <laughs> Give me a stiff drink. Right, do these guys talk or not? Yes, you can pass. Thank you, moustache soldiers. I appreciate you. Mr. DC, the guy in the chair seems like he should be in a Burton movie with that pointy nose. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, the mystery adventurer. Feeling fully recovered now, I hope. Jesus Christ, that was loud. Oh, down my ear hole. Excellent, excellent. So, what's your name then? GGK! GGK, is it a fine, regal, positive, go getter kind of name? Thank you! Why thank you? My kingliness. 
And I'm relieved to see you don't have any nasty diseases either. Little do you know, I'm riddled with disease! <laughs> You're all going to die! Oh shit! I fast forwarded in excitement. That's what happens. My disease is the power to manipulate time and space as we know it. Good gracious. Other than your name, you've completely and utterly forgotten every single thing about yourself. Oh, amnesia. Amnesia trope. Hmm, this is grave indeed. Still, you mustn't let your amnesia keep you down. Keep yourself busy and it will take your mind off your current predicament, hmm? That's the spirit. Now you're clearly a capable snack user. You'll fit in well with some of the other subjects of mine. Yes, we could definitely use someone like you around here, GGK, no doubt about it. So, my little melon ball, what do you want to do with our adventurer friend here? Melon ball. <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm, oh whatever daddy, there's something super important I need to talk to you about. Isn't this special kind of gemstone called the purple eye? It's so trending right now, it's so trending right now, like totally. Like everywhere. I, I don't think I can go on as princess without it daddy. She's patting his bald head! <laughs> oh my god, daddy please. <laughs> Please get me the gemstone. I mean, it's a matter of pride. It'll affect how many people follow me, how many likes I get, and it's so important. Oh my god! <laughs> it's so on brand. I totally need it. If I get this, I will get a million followers on Instagram. <laughs> oh my precious little melon ball. <laughs> my dear girl. Are you telling me you've lost interest in this adventurer already? Yeah, the princess is definitely a spoiled brat. Definitely. Hmm. I want it. I want oh, daddy! It. I want it! Please give it me, daddy! Oh, that's a sentence I'm never gonna use again on a live stream. <laughs> that purple eye is all I can think about. I have to have it. If I may, your majesty, the purple eye is to be found inside the Gorgonzola ruins. Gorgonzola ruins, ladies and gentlemen. Guarded by none other than the blood-curdling Medusa. I feel like this is the voice he should have, the Chancellor. It's in your hand. Then let's dispatch my mango at arms to the temple at once. Yes. He's already there, your majesty, with a small unit of troops. I had a feeling this might happen. Your majesty! Your majesty, we have returned. And we failed miserably, which means I need to go out and get it, right? Aha, my trusty major, you're back already. Excellent work. Medusa is... <laughs> toppled, I trust? That didn't go well. <laughs> I want it. I want it, Daddy. If she keeps slapping his head, he's just gonna agree. Just like beat him into submission. <laughs> well, GGK, there you have it. This is in your hands now. Called it. Called it. Allow me to bestow upon you these permits. There's a permit for everything, man. Dungeon crawling permit. Purchasing permit. Oh my god, I'm not even joking, there's a permit for everything. Is there gonna be a, like an air breathing permit? <laughs> you are hereby officially granted permission to embark on the quest to defeat Medusa. But before you go, I've also granted you permission to make use of the various stores around Tutti Frutti. I hear Hero Mart has a very useful range of items for adventurers. Yes, I definitely want to go in there again. I'll have it marked out for you on your map. You should go take a look before you get too much older. What? Uh, what? Older? <laughs> I'm quickly to be aged in this game. Of course, you can be there in the blink of an eye simply by choosing the convenience store from the town map. It's in your hand. But sometimes you might just feel like taking a walk. It's entirely up to you, girl. I feel like uh, fast travel is good and all, but sometimes you do want to take a walk in these games because new NPCs appear. They may have side quests or items to give you and stuff like that. Right, so how do we bring up the map then? Right on the D-pad. 
weapon shop. Let's go. Hey, I hear you're going to be starting the big dungeon crawl soon. I got all the gear you're going to need. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, he runs the shop. It is a robot then, not a spacesuit. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, blah, blah, whatever. Look around if you have to. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. Okay, I've got 10 gold. Spear bow. Oh, guys. Oh, it's too expensive for me. I'm, I'm broke. Damn it. Can I sell stuff? Can I, like, is there anything I can sell? How much? How much is this worth? Can you tell me? You can't sell items you're currently equipped with. Oh. Oh. Well, how do I unequip it then? Sort of confirm back next page. Oh, I'll just leave it for now. I guess I'll just save up my money and just stick with sword and shield at the moment. Go check out the Hero Mart's convenience shop. Okay, that's the weapon shop, so we need to go to the uh, other shop now. This is the one. You got it. Congratulations! Yes, a crystal sword! Oh my god, crystal sword! I want it. I want it! Mr. DC, does the game allow you to walk into random houses, breaking and entering? Yes, you can. Or at least so far, that's what we've seen. Oh ho ho! Way to go, Chuck. Alright, I'm upsized this bad boy. Oh! He's making it go big! Go big or go home, boys and girls. Crystal sword. Crystal sword. <laughs> oh, this is aces. That's so awesome, legit. That is really awesome. Hey, you can't go around upsizing weapons in a store like that. Why not? Oh, hi there. Did you come to do pick a prize as well? Here, you can have this. Is it your sword? Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I just won one of the best prizes. Maybe you'll win something awesome too. Probably not. With only one ticket? That's a bit rude. Let's say thank you. Let's thank them for the ticket. They didn't have to give us that. Hey, don't mention it. Ah, good. I see you made it to the convenience store. How is he talking to me right now? Is he telepathic? This is a special feature of your Pixie, Pixie Pod. It's called Pixie Chat. It means you can talk to people even when they're far away. A text message! Technology is amazing, isn't it? So, did you find anything useful? Now, next on the agenda. I'm going to introduce you to a very helpful individual. I've marked the place on the map so you know exactly where you need to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, Chuck. We've got a quest to be going on, right? Mm. Yeah. See you around, huh? Welcome, hero. Hey there. There's a pick a prize here too if you want to try your luck. Let me see how lucky I am. Right, oh, first prize is the Crystal Sword. We've got some ore, uh, Karma Bomb, Silver Ingot, X-Star PS, Parched Cotton, Dullish Gem. Okay, 
Let's go. I love that we spend money. It's actually gravies. Money is gravies. That is uh, awesome. Let's try our luck, guys. Let's go. Pick a ticket, any ticket. Just gonna spit out. <laughs> Sixth prize. Oh, I got some cotton, guys. Damn it. You got it. Congratulations, that's one of the six prizes. Yeah, cotton! Just what I wanted! <laughs> okay, let's leave. Let's. Oh, actually, should we check what else we can buy while we're here? Alright, cough syrup, uh, bolt before request to boost your health and resistance to being groggy. That coughing would keep anyone awake. Mobility, bolt before a quest to boost your health and resistance to being paralytic. Uh, resistance to boogieing. Oh my god, really? There's a status effect that makes you dance? <laughs> that sounds awesome. Magic boost, uh, defense boost, health boost. I think we're gonna leave it for now. We're gonna save our money. I don't think we're gonna need this stuff this early in the game. But it's worth showing you guys what's available anyway. Okay, so the arrow's telling us to go up here. I think it's uh, up these steps on the right hand side. Aha! I don't think we went in here, guys. The Cinder House! Oh, it's Cinderella from earlier, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The king sent me? Um. Oh. Ah, you've arrived, I see. This is the Cinder House, where Cinderella lives. Cinderella is in charge of training all the troops. Really? That is shocking. She doesn't look capable whatsoever. <laughs> she looks so meek and scared and fragile. But I suppose you should never judge a book by its cover, though. Yes, the person standing before you was trained as one of the elite navy heels. In the renowned Glass Slipper Team, no less! Oh my god, the Glass Slipper Team! <laughs> Cinderella and the Glass Slipper. Oh, there's so many, like, funny puns and stuff and references in this game already. Anyway, after rising through the ranks, Cinderella is now the commander. But she seems so quiet and unassuming. I don't want to be a twat. I may think that, but I'm not going to say it out loud. She's so cute. Oh. Huh. Oh my god, she turned! Attention. This is not the same person. Okay, the king's already giving me a heads up. Starting today, I own you. I own you, maggot! Get on the floor, maggot! And it's my job to make you into a soldier. From now on, you refer to me as commander, is that clear? <laughs> yes, ma'am! I'm scared. I'm actually scared, guys. Right. Now listen up, do exactly as I said, I will lead you to victory. Keep up with the program and you'll learn to be a winner, you got that? You got that, maggot! Yes, ma'am. Open the quest menu and do that with the R button. You should see the quest you've been asked to carry out right there, so select it. And I mean now, soldier! After selecting a quest, the display will switch from the minimap to the embark screen. Hold down the button to embark on the quest you've selected. Are you keeping up so far, private? Yes, ma'am. Then check out the Pixie Assist app on your Pixie Pod. Okay then, time to head to the Gorgonzola Ruins, maggot! But to get there, you're gonna have to cross the Falafel Flats. <laughs> I'll be training you up while we're on the move. That's right, there's no let up in my slipper camp, private. Let's do it! Actually afraid. Actually afraid! So get yourself ready! And let's move out, soldier! 
Oh my god, guys. You can now select story quest, the road to Gorgonzilla crossing the plane. Rank one from the quest menu. I was just refilling my drink, guys. Oh my god. The road to Gorgonzilla crossing the plain. Okay, we've got some enemies on the right hand side there. This looks fun. I'm excited. Grand prize is a spear. Yes. Okay, we've done it. And then we have to hold A to embark. Let's go! First quest! Excited! <laughs> Let the dungeon crawl begin! Oh my god. It's so cheesy this game, but I love it. You have to cross this plane in order to reach the temple ruins. Now first, I'm gonna beat some quest basics into you, private, so listen up! Bottom left is your current HP, to the right is the minimap. So you guys can't see the bottom left, but uh, it's completely blocked. Obviously when I die it'll be obvious. Those two things are your top resources. Bottom line, you will encounter hostile monsters out in the field. And you're gonna have to defeat them on your own. I will not repeat, not lift a finger to help you. Okay, let's move, soldier. Right. Okay, so we've got Y. Okay, B is a roll. A isn't anything. X is like a special attack. X plus A. And then, oh, okay, and then we can use items. Roll out the way! Just like whiz in and do some strikes and then whiz out. There goes one. Go another enemy down and then this guy. So uh, obviously the orange indicates which way they're attacking. A piece of rotten rubber from that monster, that's nice. Excellent! Well hello. Let's murder you. Right, so it seems the special in the bottom right is charging up the more I attack. And then we can use it. Here we go. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. I just use my special, guys. That was awesome. There's actually another monster over on the right. I want to make sure I kill all the monsters because experience is important. Attention. You're getting hang of attacking, but that's not enough to take victory. Sometimes you need to defend. Hold the ZL button down to block attacks with your shield. You also try pressing the ZR button while blocking. That lets you switch targets. Okay. Oh. I am more of a dodger than a blocker though guys, so just bear that in mind. Thank you so much for the resub. Just getting the subversary out of the way since I won't be around till Thursday. Thank you so much, Chris. Love, love, love. Show some freaking love in the chat, guys. Of a million leaf. You found some treasure, I see. Good, very good. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. What just attacked me? Oh, him. Right, you need to die. 
Can I break this? Yes. Loot! Look at Cinderella. She's ready to go with that big gun. She's ready to go, boys and girls. Ready to go. Ooh, snack! Another sub! Thank you so much! Uh, X Knight Reaper! Welcome! Thank you! That's awesome! Uh, enjoy your emotes! Smiley face for the emotes! Oh god, get out of the way! Oh god! <laughs> I'm getting snacked! I'm getting ganked by snacks! Oh god! Oh Jesus Christ! Scottish! Thank you for the prime sub! Hype train is activated! Oh my god! Hype train! Hype, hype, hype! Love, love, love everybody! Thank you so, so much for the subs! <laughs> For a limited time only, earn exclusive emotes through the hype train. So to keep that hype train going, guys, we need bits, we need subs. And of course, gifted as well. All that keeps the hype train going. Thank you so, so much, guys. I appreciate you. Love. Love, love, love. I think I need to heal soon. Can I check my, um, like, HP? Uh, not HP, sorry, experience is what I want to check. Right, she's fine on HP. Right, here we go. I'll have me some of that. That's a new enemy! Hey. All the way! 100 biddies from Faye! Thank you so much for contributing to the hype train! Awesome! I think you just made us go to the next level as well. I think it carries over from the last hype train. Thank you so, so much! That's awesome! Level 1 completed! <laughs> well, level 2 of the hype train! Thank you! Red with 100 biddies! Another contribution to the hype train! Thank you so much! 6%! I want it! I want it. That's super rare, is it? I didn't even see what it was. That's awesome. Right, let's continue. Oh my god! You're a big boy! Special attack! Oh, nice! Special attack KO'd it instantly. Hey Husky, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in today. Investigate the big rock lying on the ground over there. This one? Or is it... Oh! That's not a rock, that looks like a wing. Warp point activated. Quest clear! Okay, you've activated uh, fast travel, basically that means even if you head back to town you can come back to this point again when you're ready to move on. Oh, that's awesome! For now though, you've cleared the quest. Alright, so I guess return to town for now. Husky, I'm doing good, just woke up. Well, good morning to you. Welcome to the stream. Booty calls! Boo delicious for you, babe! 
The more you achieve on quests, the more I bequeath upon you. First things first, congratulations on completing the quest. You weren't KO'd once! The last Jara Burst was a top notch, a sight for sore eyes. You dealt more damage than anyone else in the quest, well done. Oh my god, you get rewarded for everything. Nobody in your party became too puffed, I see. Managed to keep everyone's HP above zero. Five chests! That's all the chests. All that remains is to be seen is what inside them. New list of achievements. Open all at once. Grand prize. Nice, we got the spear, guys. We got some cough syrup. Melonia C card. Oh, you can collect cards in the game. That's cool. You can't call yourself a Meloniac. A Meloniac? <laughs> if you don't have one of these rare cards and it's worth a few Jello Jello Yalti cards. It's supposed to be like, um,. Loyalty cards, isn't it? Like, loyalty points. Okay. We've got a lollipop as well. Lollipop, lollipop. Ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Ba do do do. This game is so good! 49 seconds left on the hype train, guys! <laughs> Okay, that's the end of the tutorial, I mean, this training session. You're tough, I like that. I knew you were when I first laid eyes upon you. I'm confident you got what it takes to handle this permit I'm gonna give to you now. C-class snack permit. Nom nom nom. Now you can use your pixie pods to make snacks out of monsters and people. It's a simple point and shoot. Taking a snack shot basically means adding people or monsters to your team. Usually you've got to take the shots yourself, but I'm going to give you one of mine to get you started. <gasps> oh, she's a cute little pea. She's like a little bean sprout. Flow flu. <laughs> Guys, she's adorable. She's a cute little pea pod. That sounds wrong, but yeah, I didn't mean it that way, but you know what I mean. <laughs> cool cop, thank you so much Reaper. You can get this from Amazon. This Pokemon mug. Attention! Stay beautiful, thank you for the follow! <laughs> Once you've gotten a snack, you can take that person or monster with you in your party on quests. I hope she's a healer. Alternatively, you can set them up as pocket snacks. You can summon pocket snacks in the middle of a quest, but only for a limited time. Anyway, if you want to know more, just RTFM in the Pixie Assist app. By the way, it's me, Beautiful TV. No worries, I knew it was you. So similar name. <laughs> Welcome. That's Read the Fantastic Manual, in case you didn't know. Who reads manuals? Manuals, manual. Pocket bacon. Pocket snacks are the best snacks, though, to be fair. For your next training session, you're going to be fighting alongside a snack. So make sure you're ready for the ball. What? <laughs> I'm always ready for the ball, I'll have you know. All the ball! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hmm, isn't that... Ah, oh, remind me why we're having to do this again. Oh, yeah. For the princess, of course. We couldn't refuse. Tisk the princess. Oh, yeah. You know, Chup? He's head over heels for that girl. Birdie, like I'm not. I'm not. I don't love her. You do. Look at you. No, You're a mess. You're a mess, maggot. Privates. Oh, yeah. Commander Cinderfella. What are you doing here, sir? I mean, ma'am. I'm putting this new recruit through her bases. Yeah. Hey, we met before, right? I never asked what your name was. I'm Chubb, by the way. <laughs> What's up, Chubb? <laughs> Should you care, huh? Pleased to meet you again. Attention. And what are you lot doing here? Huh? Oh, we're in the middle of a quest on behalf of Princess 
Oh, really? It's an important quest, then, I take it. And yet, here you are, shooting the breeze like you've got all the time in the world. Disgraceful, cadets. Disgraceful. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Mm, no, ma'am. It's not like... Oh my gosh, she's murdering them all! <laughs> you were saying, maggot! Now you can't say nothing because you're dead! <laughs> Boneheads! The pig is panicking. Panic pig. <laughs> no sidetracks, no distractions. You get straight to the quest target. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. As a class slipper, ma'am. As a glass slipper, even. Shoot that. No, that's shooting the breeze. <laughs> oh, Faye. Oh. And you, you better stay sharp too, you hear? There's still a long way to go before we reach the ruins. But now we're going to head back to town. Thank you so much, Ashes Panda, for the follow. Uh, we'll pick this up again as soon as you've gotten ready for phase two. Shit, I'm worried. I'm worried what phase two is going to be like now. <laughs> She's unstable! Training continues no matter what. I don't care if you die and you turn into a zombie! As long as you're under my command, you will finish what you've started, Private. Do don't ever forget that. Jesus Christ. What have I got myself into? You can now select story quest, the road to Gorkonzilla, no deserting. Okay. Awesome. Right. Pixiepedia. Pixiepaw. So we've, we've found quite a few monsters already. Oh my god, that is adorable. This creature was very nearly hunted to extinction because people prized it for its fabulous fur. In fact, underneath it's as thin as a rake. It's basically a hairball with a head. Oh my god, I want to see it naked now. I want to see it shaved. <laughs> I legit do. <laughs> okay, then we've got this monster as well. It's hardworking her, but lives for labouring and nothing else. He pops up all over the place and soldiers on no matter what drawing on the multitude of permits licenses and qualifications he's required to get the job done he's a little ant and we've got this vegetable dog vegetable dog hang on what's the other one called the cutie one logged lupine no lag sorry lagged lupine that's what it's called right this this cutie pie here no one is nuttier about healthy eating than this cauliflower. Oh my god! He's always colouring young kids and trying to impress on them how to eat better. But nothing mortifies him more than being told he's cute and having his photo taken. I'm so sorry I called you cute. <laughs> Ninjumper. This monster is a self-professed master of the sickle and chain and other ninja tools. Thank you so much, Pime, for the Prime sub! Love, love, love! Click on the smiley face for the emotes. We're still waiting on one more e emote to be approved. We'll just switch one out, so uh, hopefully that'll get done soon. But thank you so much! Love, love, love! <laughs> he likes to try out new tricks too, like the locker room, sneak peek, and the tongue twist to take off maneuver, but he's totally, <laughs> totally useless at them. Oh my gosh, I love him. I love all these cute little beans, except this one. This is the stuff of nightmares. Claim Jumper. This little jewel lives solely to scare people by jumping out from fissures in the load. It cries of triumph and the self-satisfied expression on its face right after the event really rile pretty much anyone. Look at its tongue. <laughs> Look at its tongue. Oh my gosh. Massive Mamba. Thick. Fix snake. The heavyweight champion of the snake class in the Monster World Wrestling Cup with his phenomenal physique and fierce fangs, he favours a fast KO finish. <laughs> Slime. Oh, this one's just got a basic ass name compared to the others. What, you've seen these monsters in another game? Get out of town! Uh -huh. So slimes often appear as RPG small fry. That's royalties paid goose, so back off! 
Anyway, these regular slimes believe they turn into metal slimes if beaten 2,000 times. Is that a reference to another game where they actually turn into metal slimes if they're defeat, like beaten 2,000 times? I don't know. <laughs> it's so cute though. I'm gonna find all the monsters in this game cute, except this one. Face puck! <laughs> a shrewd and navis nasty that clings to its foes' faces, and if not dealt with quickly, will soon control every aspect of the unlucky victim's life. <laughs> They'll goad you egregiously with callous cries as they prepare to attack. Oh my god. Wow. And then we've got this one, Influencer. A little lady who drifts around in the air like she's blowing in the wind. In fact though, she controls how it blows, just like she controls how people have to blow their noses because she can make them catch a cold. I still love her. She's a cute little bean. I love her to death. <laughs> can we zoom in on her? Zoom in, plus. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! She's so cute. I love her so much. She's my daughter now. She's my child. Right, okay. So let's go in our bag a second. Okay, we have actually got the spear equipped now, seemingly. 90 damage. So it's the same as the others. We've only earned two... Gravy's 49 money from that quest. Okay, head for the Gorgonzola ruins. Right. Let's do that then. Let's do story quest. New! The road to Gorgonzola. No deserting. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go explore. I'm excited. Okay, we're in spitting distance of Gorgonzola now. Once we clear the desert, we'll be there. You've got a party snack with you now, right? Yep, there she is on screen, looking all adorable. Those snacks know exactly how to battle. No need to give them orders. They're great allies. Roger, roger. We've got a bat. Backing off. Who's healing me? I don't know who it is. But I'm getting healed. Which is handy. Is that a lion? I would be lying if it's not a lion. Damn. That's quite a lot of uh, foul cat it's called. Nice. You maggots. Wake up, Private. Are you keeping an eye on your party snacks HP? Use your healing tonic to bring it back up. Press the R button. Well, there we go. It works on the whole party at once, so don't be afraid to use it when you're in a situation. Sweet! Controls are pretty slick and easy at the moment, I have to say. Ooh! That's the way. Keep up the good work. Now find more treasures. Attention. Good work, Private. Now make sure you keep it safe. As long as I don't lose it. Oh, you can actually smash them from rolling through them. That's cool. Not case. <laughs> that monster's called Not Case, guys. Oh my god. 
Yeah, this is so fun! Oh my lord! Reaper, the only game I know with Metal Slimes is Dragon Quest. Yeah, me too, actually. I still need to play the latest Dragon Quest game as well. Oh, hello there. Hello there! Oh, I ran straight into that like an idiot. You are not the real P! My QTP. Nicely done. Oh, hello. That was easy. I was expecting that to be more of a threat, to be honest. You're handling yourself pretty well. We're nearly at the ruins. Can you feel that surge of negative energy coming over the sand? Let's do it. Don't you dare let me see you flinch, Private. Advance! Flinching is for the weak. Let's go. Need to hold it down to enter, guys. That's what she said. <laughs> The Gorgonzola ruins. Ba 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 da ba ba da. Every time, Darth Vader theme. <laughs> First thing to do is is at the base of the stairs. You clock to that zoom stone, right? If you go straight into the ruins now, you won't stand a chance. Back to base first, Private. Warp point activated. Quest to clear. Hey, the scorpion kept asking you to stop, but you just kept beating it. I didn't even see its cries for help. I'm just like oblivious to that. <laughs> no mercy! <laughs> really? Was it asking me to stop? I feel bad now. <laughs> I wonder if I could have recruited that or something if I didn't attack it, I don't know. Oh well, it's dead now. There's no use crying over dead scorpion, is what I'll say. <laughs> okay, how many chests do I get on this one? Completed the quest. Wasn't KO'd. Avoided state assailments. Dealt more damage. Six chests, guys. View the list. Okay. Oh, I got a bow and arrow, guys! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! We need to test it out on the next uh, fighting section. I'm excited. Hard GGK and you, Commander? Oh. What are you doing here? No way! No way! So you mean Princess Melonia asked you as well? What did she ask? As well? I'm confused! Oh. <laughs> Confused.com <laughs> Hey, every time you hear it said, hey, stop that. Oh, I just feel like shit now. <laughs> I murdered the scorpion when it was pleading for its life. <laughs> we're here to get you the purple eye. Well, we're here to get the purple eye, we're got huh? basically. Um, all that dumb floozy, she'll flutter her eyelids at anyone. Right. Well, privates, have you acquired the target already then? We nearly got turned to stone by that crazy Medusa. Yeah, we ran away just in time. Goodness. That beast is way too big for us, we can't possibly beat it. Should we team up? 
You weaklings! Why is it that she's shooting but he's the only one that gets murdered out of the team? <laughs> Yellow bellied buttheads! That is the best insult ever. You don't go crawling back to base with your tails between your legs because you can't beat some crappy Medusa. I can't see I've still got I can see I've still got work to do with you punks. I'm gonna have to teach you. Because he's weak. <laughs> he is a weakling. He's never gonna impress the princess. She's only got eyes for me. Everyone back to town now. Training starts immediately. Yes, ma'am. Okay then, privates. You know why you lost to Medusa, right? Because Medusa was too strong, man? Nub skulls! What did you expect? Bosses in dungeons are always strong. RPGers have known that for generations of hardware ever since Plato's DND. <laughs> no, the reason you lost is simple. It's because you doubted your ability to win because you were weak. I'm sending GGK in to take out Medusa this time. No way. What? But what about us? Right. You're going too, but only one of you. Right. Why only one? <laughs> that is the limit, I'm afraid. So that's the maximum amount of NPC that you can take with you then, I guess. The game system only lets you take a single quest character with you. Oh, fourth wall break again! <laughs> game system? Gobson, you can't mention stuff like that. Don't you remember how we talked about player immersion? <laughs> you can pick who you want to go with you when you embark on this quest. So start thinking. I'm not going to pick him because he's shite. Oh wait, before you head off to fight Medusa again. Don't forget about making protective clothing and armour by synthesising materials together, will you? Right. What Philogamy Head here is talking about is fabrication. That can be done via the fabrication option in the belongings menu. You can make new clothing and armour by combining items you pick up on your travels. Ooh, fabrication permit too. And if you can get hold of a good fabrication log, it'll open up a whole range of new clothes and armour to make too. Sweet. Hey, that reminds me, GGK. I bought two of these by mistake. You can have this one if you like. And I've got some items I don't need as well. Copy of Juderic Basics. A bronze ingot. A tuff of parched cotton. Well, we actually got cotton from one of those tickets earlier as well. So we've got two cottons now. They're pretty basic items, but they might get you started. You can buy more fabri... Fabri... Hang on. Fabri... Catalogs. Fabri... Catalogs. I can't say that fast at all. At the Outfitters, you know, go check it out later. <laughs> Don't forget, you can take on quests for the regular folk around town as well. Toward the end of each chapter, there are some rather special quests to find. The weapons you get as a reward for completing them often turn out to be very effective against the end of the chapter bosses. Right, so basically it's worth doing the side stuff then, guys. It's literally telling you there, you could get a weapon that's super effective against the chapter's end boss. So, definitely worth doing the side stuff. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, you see. That's what it's all about. It's how all these role-playing games work. I just told you, like, 30 seconds ago to not talk about things like that. You can now select Story Quest. Power of Purple Eye. Rank 1 from the quest menu. Okay. Okay, I am going to stop the video here, guys, if you're watching on YouTube. Um, so make sure you like and subscribe and comment on the video to show support and love. Let me know your thoughts and impressions on the game down below so far. I'm probably going to upload a couple more videos here on YouTube and maybe even do a complete series as well. So I hope to see you in the comments section. If you want to play with me on multiplayer on this game or watch this live, check out the link down below to my Twitch account. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Love, love, love. Bye-bye.